Hey, it's your girl Sanithia and welcome to another lock tutorial. I know it has been a minute since I've done a tutorial, but um, today's tutorial um, will be a remix of my uh, hairstyle or a video response to a hairstyle that I did before a chic look. Uh, one of my YouTube viewers the hairstyle, liked the hairstyle but wasn't feeling the front portion that I had in the original hairstyle and so um, I went ahead and I created um, a new look to the hairstyle, just the front portion of it. Um, I decided to do this hairstyle with my hair um, in spirals because it gives me a fuller look. What you'll need for the video will be some bobby pins, some hair pins and maybe a few elastic bands um, just to keep the hair neat and in place. Um, so uh, let's get started. So what I did, I went ahead and I sectioned off the front portion of my hair at the crown of my head, I sectioned it off that I, and I'll use this portion for my uh, pompadour. And then um, I have uh, two other sections to the back which um, I did two ponytails. So um, I'll get started on this side. So basically what I will be doing will be talking and rolling. Tucking, rolling, tucking, and rolling. Okay, so it's a very easy step. All you have to do is to put the hair, tuck the hair under, and then roll the other portion on top of it. And uh, my hair, um, I have a bit of length. So I do not have to use any hairpins along the way. But if your hair is not so long, then I advise that while you um, tuck, then you can go ahead and use the hairpins. I'll use an elastic band to hold my hair at this part so that it will be very neat. Oops. Try to secure as much as possible. Okay. Good, good, good. And what I'll also do is I'll use a hairpin to secure the hair at the top so that it stays in place. Okay, good. And then I'll take this portion, put it across here, lay it very neatly, and then use a hairpin again to hold it in place. Maybe you'll need more than one hairpin. But use as many as it takes to secure the hair in place. Okay, so I'm finished with this section of my hair. So I'll go ahead and do the other section and then I'll come back and show you how to do the pompadour. Okay, so don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So um, I'll go ahead and start with the front portion, but um, I think I will do a variation um, and then um, do the original remix hairstyle that I had in mind. Um, what I would do is I would take all the hair like this and just roll it up, but give it a roll to the side. And then go ahead and use um, hair pins to secure the hair. All the way 
up. And these little um, stragglers here, I'll just use a pin and keep it in place. And uh, voila! This is a variation um, to the hairstyle um, that I had in mind. So this could be another way you could wear it without having everything in your face. And I'll just I'll go ahead and quickly take this down and um, get on with the original um, remixed hairstyle. So for this hairstyle, the remixed hairstyle, all you have to do is to use your fingers to comb um, the hair forward and then hold the hair wherever you have um you can hold most of them without some of them um falling out then try to hold it there and to tuck under any any of them that's not um staying in place then what you'll do is just um roll your hair up roll it up and then just stop when it gets um, to the top and then you go ahead and use your hair pins to hold it in place okay. making sure it is neat so take any excess that's not um, staining, just tuck them in and then secure them with a hairpin. And just shape your uh, pompadour whatever, in whatever way you want it until it suits um, what you're looking for. And one more piece here that's not in I think there's another piece here and that's not in and at the top here I'm just going to ensure that they are also in neatly Just put another pin here. and I am finished. So this is the hairstyle without um, the portion in your face. So um, let me know what you think. Please remember to um, leave your comments below, rate um, the video and also subscribe to follow me if you would like to uh, get ideas of very um, chic, interesting and trendy um, hairstyles for locks and these hairstyles can be also transformed to natural hair so um, it's not only for locks so you can also do it for your um, natural hair and so um, once again thank you for watching my video and um, I will be seeing you at a next lock tutorial. Thank you. Bye.